I'm not gonna lie, Sharknado looks like it's gonna be a quality film. It's now on Netflix, and I will probably never get around to watching it. But anyway, today has been nothing but Mulan songs. Like, seriously, Mulan songs. I've been singing them all day, like, Let's get down to business to defeat the hunt. Like, you know, that's probably... I think that's at the beginning. It's like, the uh, dad doesn't have any sons, so he's gonna, like, go to the war himself because, like, they need a man from every family. It's like, I will defend my country. Even at that time, it's just, like, swords fighting. And, like, they had those dragon cannons, which is like, Woo! <laughs> But anyway, Sharknado looks good. Um, the game hasn't even started yet. What are we, 39 sec, 41 seconds into the video now? And it hasn't started. Look at these loading screens. It's a bit ridiculous. But anyway, this is a game on Strixone, just like every other game from Call of Duty, or every other gameplay you've seen of Call of Duty Ghost, because that's all anyone can get gameplays on. But anyway, um, unlike my last upload, this one is not a chem strike. This is actually something even better. How, but you're asking, how can it be better than Chem Strike? That's because it's not. It's not even a double Chem Strike either. It's something, it's legitimately worse. But look at this. Look how quick you die. I'm like, Aah! I actually can't read because it's really blurry. But it looked like I got three kills there. And then I shouldn't have stepped out. That was stupid of me. But you got to do what you got to do. So got my stat count. You die uber quick in this game. I don't know about you guys. I would have been dead either way. Even though I was a little bit hurt, I stepped out. Even if I wouldn't, I would have been dead. So anyway, this gameplay is on strike zone i've already mentioned that and the importance of it is i actually go like 50 something and six or something like that i don't know it's been a while it's been since monday i've been away and on top of that some look at that god dog go go in or I, no i don't have an ims that was a set com get it together man but anyway so ps4 comes out tonight not that i care because i have it already pre-ordered and coming through the mail not sure when that's gonna arrive and i'll be away this weekend so probably an unboxing or something next week which I'm really stoked to do because when that comes I'm gonna be happy I'm not sure when it's coming but if it does come I'll be really happy and actually PlayStation announced that there is potential to play on like with last gen people which would be kind of cool because not all my friends are getting uh, PS4 right away so I'm not sure if I can play with them uh, they said it's up to the game developers and it's Infinity Ward so you can't expect too much I'm just kidding. Nothing's wrong with Infinity Ward. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 was fun. Let's let's not deny that fact. I enjoyed it. But anyway, Strike Zone's definitely a great map. I haven't even gotten into what this was about. I kept talking about how it was leading up to something even better than Chem Strike, KEM Strike, whatever you want to call it. I said that exactly in my last commentary. That's because I'm very unoriginal in my commentaries. But anyway, so I got the Maniac. Dun, dun, dun! You might not be impressed with that in general. But I actually go on a sixth streak, and the reason I haven't said that yet, but it will be in the title, because I'm going to count while I'm doing this commentary. Once I get the Maniac, I'm going to actually sit here and count. I need to reload in better places. I don't have sleight of hand, because I prestiged. It took me like 19 hours to prestige. It's crazy. That's way too much time already. It's only been out for like a week and two days. That's ridiculous. So, Strike Zone, I think I'm using like the SA something. It's an assault rifle. It's the top right one. Um... I don't really know. I know it starts with an SA. I'm not sure what's after that. And I don't believe there's any attachments on it. Um, not that I can... I'm actually not sure. Because it was the default class. I haven't changed this class at all. Because it wasn't too long after I prestiged. And I still have my wiener in the corner. Yeah, you like that. But, so, this game I get a pretty sick streak. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And we're going to count together. Because counting's fun. And it's one of the principal ways in the scientific method that you can identify various things. The others are temperature, time, heat, I can't remember. Electrical conductivity, I'm pretty sure that's one. Um, so yeah, uh, this one in our specific experiment here, why is my shirt wet? I don't even, it smells like water, and water doesn't really have a smell, so I'm assuming that it smells like water and not some other liquid that, and maybe it's hydrochloric acid, because I know it's not formaldehyde, because that's relatively strong. And I haven't been touching formaldehyde lately. Needless to say, I haven't been touching hydrochloric acid either, or chloroform, or anything else. Look at that. I'm just stupid running out like that. So, once I call this in, we're actually going to count to see how high we get, because we get pretty darn high. Um, what? What, what did I just... But anyway, I call in the Maniac. This was like the second or third time I've ever actually gotten the Maniac. And it's kind of going to be talking about the pros and the cons of a Maniac. Like anything, I've always supported Juggernaut, because... People always complain that you don't have enough health, but if you play like you normally would, you can go without ever dying. But then came Call of Duty Ghost, when they decided... I'm horrible, you guys can probably see that right there. So there's two kills so far, one of my... Th three kills, 
when my teammate gets a chem strike, I'm like, no, I just got this. No, nobody, nope, 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 nope. Hey, I'm alive. So I was pretty stoked there because I didn't actually hear that said friendly, and I thought I was pretty darn sure it was enemy. But luckily it was friendly, and so four? It's laggy on my screen, so I can't really tell. So there's four. I think I get the other guess. That's five. Um, I really hate this preview window because it's hard to count. It really is, man. So there's five so far, and as long as you play conservative, you should be fine because you have more health than normal. If, like, you step out and you get shot, you can quick go back, and you should be fine. But, which brings me into my problem with Call of Duty Ghosts, where they took out health regeneration. Like, when I eventually die, and you guys will see that, that's the only time I can ever hit someone with throwing knives when they're standing still, pretty much. Um, so, health regen they took out, which means when I finally die, it was to less bullets than what... Oh, I forgot to keep track. I think that's like 7 or something. I'll probably just go back and see my starting value versus my ending value. Because I don't think Riley actually got... Ooh, I actually got pretty darn red here. I, did, I forgot about this. But, so... My Riley, I don't think he got any kills while I was doing this. Even though Riley is a boss. Like, a little bit too overpowered, to be honest. Because against the Riley, like a sniper bullet to a dog's head should kill him. Let's face it. It takes a lot more to kill a Riley than it is. I'm, I mean, I don't support killing Rileys. But Riley's actually a pretty cool name. I'm not sure if I'd name my dog that. But, like, if I had a kid that was just a chill kid, and I'd be like, you know what? You're my Riley. Be my Riley. And he'd be my, and he'd be my Riley, and the two of us would be pimping, because Rileys and Mats are pretty cool. They go together well. So, this, I'm using the Maniac. Uh, I don't think I got any kills with Riley, and I've entirely lost count, even though that was my one goal of doing this commentary, was to count them, so I didn't have to go back and do it. But it'll be in the title, probably. Look at this. That's unfair that a guy in a juggernaut suit can run faster than a fully trained soldier. Aren't these guys Federation that I'm playing against? They should be good. Like, they can change Rourke, okay? That was like the first mission of the game, so I'm not really spoiling anything. So, have you guys played the campaign yet? I'm not, I've, I'm about three quarters of the way done with the campaign, and there are definitely some sketchy moments. Like, really? Like, the voice acting is my biggest problem with it. It's like... Oh my god. I th the moment that I actually had the most trouble with is what IGN pointed out in the review. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'd recommend it. But when I finally die, I'll point it out in this commentary because it was a little bit rubbish how I died, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I say rubbish. I'm not British, but rubbish is kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure if other countries say rubbish. I was thinking of other European countries, but then again, they all have their own language because no one can just be unified. Yeah, that's pretty much how our world works. So like, nope, we're better. We have our language. We aren't going to change. And, like, you could propose it, and everyone would be like, yeah, that's a great idea. But then they'd be like, okay, so what language are we using? Then they'd be like, well, ours, obviously. So we would probably say, well, we're just all going to use English. Because English, to us, is what is the easiest and what we know and love. But to someone else, they're like, no, I don't want to learn language. Even though everyone already knows English, let's face it. Like, Americans, we slack. We, we know English, and, like, we take five years of Spanish and maybe get hola. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right. Oh, well, who cares? But, so, look at that. Like, I shouldn't have died that quick, even with normal, but because there's no health regen, which is my biggest problem with the Maniac. I like using the Maniac because it's super fun, but if there was health regen, that would be, like, super amazing, and I would use it all the time. And I think the rest of the game is just downhill from here. Um, Wait, is this... Are we playing Domination? Oh, we're up 170. Yeah. My screen, it was a little bit blurry since it's a... One second, let me compare my iPhone to the screen. Be quiet. Yeah, my iPhone screen's actually bigger than the preview window I have. I'm sure if I had a larger monitor, it would be bigger. But then again, it's a 22-inch monitor, which is relatively large for a computer monitor because it's actually a TV. So, you know, I guess that might include some input lag, but I'm using HDMI, so who cares? I'm not using that DVI, all that stuff, even though I might have to eat around the HDCP or what, encoding or whatever it is for the PS4. Um, they said there's going to be an update that fixes that. Uh, let's hope that comes out. And so I'm excited for PS4. Might not be gameplay until the update. Um, I will definitely be ga getting gameplay and unboxing, and I'll do a review of the PS4 as a console. Um, when gameplay comes out, not too sure. Um, if it doesn't work, I, I'll probably do like some Extinction series on just normal. But anyway, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to get the streak that I got in the Huggernaut in like if that's another reason we should go to Spanish because. Um, they all, all the J's sound like H's. Look at that guy in the main account. I was so jealous of him. I'm like, oh, I wish I had my suit back. But I think, no, I don't think I got final kill. I think someone else did. But 200 to 70, it could have easily been an 80 kill game if the the game was a lot more close. But yeah, look at this. He's in his Huggernaut suit, which is why we need to all be Spanish, because they would be Huggernauts instead of Juggernauts. 
And who doesn't love hugging people? Let's face it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Six seconds left. It tells me that now. It's cool. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. See ya.